A special building right in the middle of Melbourne celebrated its first birthday this week. The Common Ground project is the first of its kind in Australia, a state-of-the-art apartment block creating big changes for the formerly long-term homeless. It's taken you know, all of this year for me to, to fully grasp the reality that this is my home, that I am safe and that I am secure and I can live here as long as I like. 40-year-old mother of two, Susie, has been homeless off and on since she was 22. My then husband had um, very serious mental illnesses. He used to keep the kids and I out of the home and so domestic violence services and transitional housing and you know, moving in the middle of the night, all that sort of stuff came into my life at 22 and my children were just babies. Susie is one of 65 formerly homeless tenants who moved into the Common Ground building about a year ago. I'd spent so long, you know, not on the run, but in a constant state of where am I going to live, where's the money going to come from, just constantly, you know, in survival mode. It's the first time in my life I've ever lived independently, ever as a 40-year-old woman. What is it like to have my own place? It feels like I'm... Um, I feel like I'm living my life over again, like, um, like a teenager starting out in the world, learning to live independently, because I didn't have that opportunity. It's a different place, a place that I've never really had had this kind of feeling wherever I think. I can become what I want to be because of this place. Happy birthday, Common Brown. This building on prime inner Melbourne real estate was possible because construction company Grocon built it at cost. Partly funded by federal and state governments, it's the first of its kind in Australia and was based on a similar project in New York. It is a beautiful new building. We've got uh, a GP a day a week, we've got a nurse four days a week, we've got uh, a psychologist and we've got a psychiatrist two days a week. Um, we've also got massage, uh, so a range of different therapeutic services. And there are activities run every day, from cooking, crafts and gardening, to reading and writing classes. Walking down the street, distant memories are buried in the past forever. I've worked as a orderly in a hospital, a computer technician, a cook for 10 years as well, so yeah, I've, I've done a quite a few, you know, call centre operator for Telstra. But 39-year-old Albert has also been homeless for two years. Some of the places that I lived in were absolutely disgusting. The aspiring actor was forced out of rental properties by rising prices. At the same time, he was battling serious mental and physical illness without any medication. If my door's shut and you hear Metallica or hear me playing golf, leave me alone because I'm just not coping. Within this environment, I've got a free psychiatrist, a free GP, a free psychologist to speak to as well. Plus, I've got a caseworker as well, and I'm not paying for any of that. And as a result, we've been able to work things through. I've been able to talk things through that I wasn't able to do before. And I do, I feel myself in a, in a, in a really wonderful spot that I've never been in before. So, which is, yeah, it's like the light at the end of the tunnel is no longer an oncoming train. So, which is really nice. State Housing Minister Wendy Lovell praised the Elizabeth Street project on Monday. It's a great example of, of how the private sector make, can make a contribution to ending homelessness in Victoria. If you've got any problems or any... But while common ground projects are planned for Brisbane and Sydney, there are no state government plans to pay for more buildings like this in Victoria. It costs the government about one and a half million dollars each year. 
we estimate there's just under a thousand chronically homeless single adults uh, in Melbourne and we think of those there's probably 250 that really would benefit from the the kind of design uh, of this model which means another four of these uh, buildings in Melbourne is what we uh, think is needed. Susie's struggled with feelings of guilt that she now has a brand new home and plenty of support when others don't. It blows me away that I have choices today. You know, I, I have peace in my life today. You know, that I can actually sit and think about what do I, what do I want to do. And what do you choose? What do you want to do? Everything. <laughs> And we wish her all the best.